N900 Mamor 5 versus Nitroid N900 versus Nitroid for me N800 versus the iPhone standard Safari versus Android on the iPhone. Now, this is going to take a few cuts because I can't get them all lined up in one go or start them all at once, so it wouldn't be fair. So I'm going to start with Mamor 5 and Micro B, which is the standard browser. I'll just start off the go on the same forum page on every device. They're all on the same Wi-Fi connection, there's nothing else running on it. page loaded on that one. Next one, Nitroid N900 using the latest root FS. There's no edits been done whatsoever. <laughs> That's the page actually loaded and done. Okay, yeah. next video worth trying. It's Android on the iPhone. It's based on Donut 1.6. Again, it's the latest available edition. Which isn't exactly brilliant, as you can see. It's one of the worst versions of Android I've ever used. And the battery life's about an hour. One way to kill an iPhone. Put Android on it, then use it for about an hour, and you'll kill it. This is on an iPhone 3G. No special edits, again. So it's just... And yes, you can see... There's a lovely crack in the top of every screen on this phone. But as you can see, the touch screen is actually still working. But if I hit go... Didn't want to do that. It's the only bit of credit I've got to give Apple. The device keeps going, if you, even if you've got them in stupid amounts of damage to it. There we go. Still loading the page. There we go, that's page loaded and done. Okay, next one. Standard iPhone OS. As you can see, it's on Wi Fi. Yes, it's jailbroken. And if I go. Page loaded and done. Okay, so we've got Nitroid and the N800. It's a totally clean file system, I've just extracted it. So. I think the CPU and the N800 is very similar to what my iPhone has. I'm not 100% sure on that though. It's still loading the page. That's the page fully loaded.